Okay, all right. Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Or in the spirit of the evening, buonasera. 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 Or my favorite cryptic Italian word, ciao. Ciao. Ciao, which is appropriate because we're going to be having some wonderful ciao tonight. And I hope that you've been enjoying the wine and the food and having a lovely time. My name is Eileen Ellable. I'm host of WNED Cooks here on WNED. And uh, thank you for coming tonight. Wow, what a tremendous crowd. This is the first time we've ever done anything like this. So we're, we're thrilled that you're here tonight. And actually, we're sharing three things that I think you'll agree we all enjoy. And that is good food, good wine, and air conditioning. <laughs> Is this, you know, good food and wine is good, but a little free on now and then is also very helpful, especially in these days. So uh, we will have a terrific time. Now, uh, before we begin the cooking demonstration, we will be having a presentation that you'll see on the screens when our guest comes out. So I apologize to the people that uh, were added on this evening. You may have to turn your chair a little bit if you want to see the big screen. Uh, we have an overflow crowd here tonight. But I do want to point out to you before we begin our beautiful kitchen set uh, that you're looking at. Some of you may have seen it when we first uh, had our new WNED Cooks on the air in February. And it's, it's a large set which you need for television, especially when you have a couple of people on the set. But an interesting fact is that this is all on wheels. And it comes apart in six pieces. So when we're done taping a show or doing something like this, we can just take it apart and wheel it away, and we don't have to rebuild it every time. And I do want to point out to you that this entire kitchen set was designed, built, and donated to WNED by Artisan Kitchens and Bath here in Buffalo. So we have some folks here from Artisan. If they could please stand, we would like to thank them very much for their support of public television. Thank you very, very much. I'm sure we'll get a lot of good use out of this beautiful set. I'd also like to thank the AAA for being a partner with us tonight and also on this fabulous adventure in Tuscany. We did have a trip out west to the national parks last year, which sold out. And uh, a lot of folks said that was one of the best trips they've ever been on. And I know that there are some folks here tonight who have been on this trip to Tuscany. Uh, with the AAA, and we're just raving about it. So uh, thank you to those folks that are here from the AAA. I think they're in the back there at that table. They're waving. And another important thing I want to mention, if you haven't yet filled out your registration form, this is for uh, kind of a door prize that we're offering here tonight, a beautiful piece of luggage. You have to fill this out, though, to uh, be eligible. We're going to be drawing that at the end of the evening at about 8 o'clock, and you need to be present to win that luggage, and you never know, it may go on that trip to Tuscany with you. So don't forget to fill out this form, please, and deposit it in the basket uh, on the table. And also, uh, the trip to Tuscany, as I understand, is very limited in space. There are two trips, but there are only 15 available spaces on each trip. So if you should be so moved tonight <laughs> to sign up, they can take care of that. But I did want to tell you that it is limited uh, in the number of people that they can handle. I mean, there's only so much room at the villa. You know, what, what can you say? So um, one of the uh, joys of this evening in introducing our guest is that I get to say his name. And his name is Romeo Innocenti. Romeo Innocenti. Now, ladies, I don't know how many real Romeos you've known in your life. This is my first. And I don't know how innocent he is, but we'll, <laughs> we'll find out later. But Romeo Innocenti uh, grew up in Tuscany. Uh, he learned how to cook at his father's knee. His father was a master chef. Uh, cooks from all over Europe have come to take his classes and learn how to do the true Italian Tuscan cooking. Uh, his grandmother was a fabulous cook, his great-grandmother. So. These are family recipes. These are not the kind of recipes you'll find in a cookbook. These are true, traditional Tuscan recipes that have been handed down in his family for years and years. And his whole family has a true joy for cooking and good food and good wine. 
So he's very anxious to tell you his story and to share his ideas and his recipes with you. So without further ado, let me welcome to you, wait for it, Romeo Innocenti. Okay. Hey, uh, <laughs> Ciao. Grazie. Hello. Hello. Ciao. Oh. Ciao. Oh, thank thank you. you very much. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, to be here. As you notice uh, by now, my name is Romeo Innocenti. <laughs> and uh, I'm here to, uh, I want to speak about Tuscany. Tuscany, my, for me, one of the most beautiful places in the world. No question, especially for me. And we are from, uh, you know, a lot of people know Tuscany only for Florence or Pisa. And it's beautiful for architecture, but we live in the southern part of Tuscany. It's called La Maremma. That is very, very old. Uh... By the way, ciao, buonasera, signora, buonasera. Uh, a beautiful place, uh, it, it's a rural place, countryside, no ma uh, with a small town, only hills town, we don't have big city. And um, it's a historical, it's, uh, where are the Etruscan, have you ever heard about Etruscan people? Etruscan people were 27, uh, 27 centuries ago, before the Romans, and that is called Etruria, so in the central of Italy, in this west coast, central Italy, west coast. And it's... Uh, Thanks God, it's still very, very genuine, without pollution, without industry. And uh, La Maremma, it's, uh, it's famous in Italy too for, uh, for the style life, for the quality of life. Because we like uh, our typical product, our, our product and our ex uh, extra virgin olive oil and our wine are very, how do you say, superb, considered one of the, of the top of, the, of Europe. And um, I from, I'm come from Arcidosso. Arcidosso is a little town, medieval town from the 11th century in the La Maremma, at the base of this mountain. Because a lot of people don't know Tuscany has also a mountain where we ski, like here in Buffalo, I think. I heard that you, I fear you had a lot of snow, right, in the winter. And we have a little snow, but enough to, to ski uh, in the winter. And uh, it's an old volcanic soil. And uh, in fact, our... our um, our veggie, our brother are very, how do you say, full body and big structure because of the volcanic soil. And um, that is where we get our water, fresh water, and it's fantastic. Uh, I grew up there in this, this small town, 3,000 people. And then uh, I moved to uh, Grosseto, that is the capital, let's say the county of this uh, Maremma. I want to speak about um, my family, Innocenti, as Eileen says. Innocenti family, it's a very, how do you say, traditional name of Tuscany because it comes from the Renaissance, the Renaissance time when um, the people, uh, the farmer, were very poor and couldn't uh, feed all the, all the kids they have. And uh, they, you know, after two or three kids, uh, instead of letting starving, uh, they, they give it to this, uh, uh, to this institute in Florence or, or uh, in other towns like Lucca, um, to, to the nuns, the C Catholics uh, Institute, and, uh, and they called the Institute the Institute of Innocent People, not guilty, innocent. Because the kids, you know, the baby are innocent. So my ancestor come from that, from there. And after 500 years, we, here I am. Uh, you know, they, they were, they're all, uh, all over the world, uh, innocent. Because a lot of people traveled in, uh, in Tuscany too. Let me, let me speak about uh, now uh, Villa Poggiarello. Villa Poggiarello is, uh, is um, my, we started our business, uh, our small family business on cooking class and the tour is uh, very small, very like maximum, we started with eight people. So very intimate family. This is what I, I, I really care to say because it's not a, it's not a commercial style, it's not tour bus, it's not something that uh, we wanted to give us some, uh, the real Tuscan life that is based in uh, no rush, completely here, no rush, relax, enjoy, enjoy the food and the wine and the people. Every time for a Tuscan man or a Tuscan woman is a uh, is good time for uh, stay together. For, for us, lunch and dinner is a party all the time because uh, it's, uh, we, we want to stay together, we want to get away all this, uh, you know, now new life and you have to rush and we don't know even why we have to rush all this time, for my opinion. This is Arcidosso, for example, look at that. This is the castle, I live just next to the castle. It's an 11th century castle. And uh, 
Villa Poggerello, Villa Poggerello. Then I move, of course, I, you know, when you grow up, I'm still young and I wanted to found a, a classic Tuscan countryside home, like Villa Poggerello. Villa Poggerello is in the middle of a Maremma, in, a, in the middle of a wine yard, an estate, it's called Muralia, and it's built in 1778, and it was restored in the 2000s. By, by Stefano Anchiara, the owner. You see, the, this is the house, and they produce these uh, splendid wines, uh, one white, Viognier grapes, and of course, uh, three reds, based in Sangiovese. Sangiovese is our, is like for you the wrestling. Res, wrestling? 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 No, wrestling is another thing. Uh, <laughs> wrestling uh, grapes. For us, it's Sangiovese. Red grapes, very full body, with a big structure, fruity. So they make this uh, white wine, Viognier and three types of Sangiovese. Sangiovese is a beautiful wine that goes perfectly with our food. Our food is very tasty. Okay? Very simple, very simple, few ingredients. And the, the king of ingredients, I repeat, is our extra virgin olive oil, that is considered one of the most beautiful, some of the important uh, uh, quality olive in the world. And it's a wine that you can uh, age it. It's good, uh, you know, when you, it's very good when uh, you, you, you keep it in the bottle, refine in the bottle. More it stays in the bottle, better it comes. This is the owner, Stefan Anchiara. He's the winemaker. He's, uh, he, I want to tell a story about him. The, the, the wife, Chiara, is from uh, uh, Maremma, but the, he's from Milan. And he was, uh, he was busy, busy, busy. He nearly had, a, you know, when you have a, a stress uh, problem. And he sold the company, and he put all this money in this uh, adventure in the villa, in the country. And he built the, the winery a few, uh, five years ago. So we gotta, if, you, if you come to visit me, we're going to stay there uh, for uh, five days. And every day, uh, of course, they have, there is a pool. There is uh, 180 hectares of land with uh, wine grows, uh, wine, uh, lots of wine, uh, how see this? No, olive trees, olive trees. So we, we, we're going to... How do you say? Taste all the local, local food. This is very important for me, for us. We count in local, uh, and kilometer zero, we say. Kilo kilometers, mile zero. Everything is from there. So if something is not, if the pepper is not in season, we don't eat the peppers. We don't buy from China or from, uh, I don't know. We eat something that is on season. Doesn't matter, right? Why we have to buy tomato from China when we have it there? This is, doesn't make any sense. Maybe, I know, maybe it's business. Who will tell about this? These are the rooms. You're going to have that. not even a room, like not a hotel room. Like, have you, somebody have you been in Roma, in Florence, in Venice? You know, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful, they give you these tiny little rooms, huh? tiny little rooms for a lot of money. And uh, here we, we have an entire flat, a living room, a fireplace, a suite, uh, you know, of course, a big bathroom. And this is the living room down, downstairs where we have, where I do my, where we, you do the lunch, uh, no, the, the breakfast and the dinners. And um, let me explain to you tours because we go around, we don't drive a lot, maximum one hour and one and a half. And we go to visit every, every day a different hills town, historical town that in, in the Maremma is medieval, renaissance with a lot of Gothic influence, like for example Siena. The churches are a lot of Gothic influence. And, uh, so, and, all, and of course, we're going to have an everyday great lunch only in family style trattoria. We call local uh, trattoria is a um, typical food, a restaurant food, not, uh, inter not uh, from other places. Because as uh, you know, Italy, every region has a different style of uh, cuisine. We have 20 regions, so we did 20 different styles of cuisine. And I'm, of course, focused. I want to go always in family-run restaurant, trattorie. And in the evening, so we're going to uh, every day pairing with uh, our red wines, uh, you know, different wines every year, from, uh, every day from the, from the house wine to the, to the medium uh, bottle to the expensive bottles, okay? Because we, I like to grow, you know? For us, it's very important to taste slowly, slowly, from the, not from the cheaper, but from the youngest to the oldest. This is very important as a knowledge. This is one an example of the Etruscan civilization town. This is built, uh, this is, is in the extreme south part of, of Maremma, where uh, there is all sandstone, sandstone, and uh, the, the, the town are built in this huge sandstone rock. 
This is an example of what we're going to see. Pitigliano, let's go. So in the evening, coming back at 5, something like that, timing one hour for resting, and then we, we do our cooking classes all together in a, in a, in a, in a kitchen at the, in the villa. And uh, one day I like to, to, to do, you know, one day it's uh, seafood, because Grosseto, where I'm from, you have 200 miles of, of coast. Not a lot of people know, but the beauty of... Uh, why I say Tuscany is, is so beautiful? It has the mountain, the rolling hills, and the seaside. So in one hour drive, you can, see, you can have all of that. And that is beautiful, without getting the plane. This is very important for us. Uh, so the sea, the, one day we do the seafood, another day we do the, the vegetables, another day we do in the, uh, the meat. That's for us, uh, it's, for example, uh, it's, um, in Maremma there is a lot of shepherd. So we have, uh, and the shepherd gives uh, us the famous pecorino cheese, pecorino, aged, uh, cured uh, in salt and aged in cellars. Kind of, uh, this is, it's kind of this, but this is uh, parmigiano with the milk, uh, with cow milk. And uh, of course the lamb, the lamb. We love lamb, uh, fried lamb, uh, 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 roasted lamb, uh, lamb soup. And um, well, uh, um, of course, uh, what I, I would like to say so. For example, here uh, all our style is made in typical product. For example, here we have uh, all the pancetta, the salame, the, um, the, the cheek of the pig to make a good uh, a pasta. Uh, our, our, our life is based uh, in food and wine and, and, and family and friends. And uh, this is the pecorino. Really. This is a beautiful pecorino. And, um, what to say, uh, you, have to, you have to come to discover the difference. Because here, for example, here I feel it's very pe people are very welcoming. Very beautiful, uh, very beautiful people. But I see people rush a lot here. I see people, uh, it's very on, uh, on 6, 14, 12 hours a day working. I, I imagine because the, the system is like that, the society is like that. In us, uh, in our country, is, uh, we don't have a lot of money, maybe some, no money at all, but it doesn't matter. It ma what it matters is to stay together, to eat well, and to enjoy every single meal, because uh, it's a party every single meal. Because, you know, God gives us the food and we have to eat it without having stress. This is uh, our, our mentality. And please, uh, if you want, uh, enjoy Tuscany. That it's, uh, I, and another thing I want to say, this we promote October. October is one of the best play, uh, time of the year because of the colors. We, first we have the harvest, harvest of the, uh, of the wine. And uh, the colors are fantastic. You're gonna, mm, in, the, in this uh, time, you, you're gonna see the, the, some picture of the last November. And all the leaves of, of, the, of the, uh, the grapes or, or uh, of the trees change and it gets this yellow, red, uh, Brown is really fantastic, and it's not uh, it's not hot. The heat is gone. So for me, one of the best places or spring or the fall. Summer is a little too hot for you. I, I imagine here everybody is crazy for air conditioner. So uh, I imagine that it's summer, Italian summer, too hot. Okay, thank you very much. Now we start our uh, put my my aprons and we start our demonstration. Oh. What I'm going to do today, simple things, peppers, crostini, crostini, our starter, uh, Tuscan starter are or uh, salame, prosciutto, uh, you know, cured meat pork or uh, crostini. So you get, your, you get your Tuscan bread or rustic bread, okay? And uh, it's important that you found unsalty, no salt, because our... our um, Cuisine, I said, is very flavor, lots of flavor. So if you use salty bread, it's going to be over salty. We use a lot of uh, sea salt. And I'm going to make this crostini with sweet peppers and oregano, okay? And uh, the, uh, le penne, pasta, pasta, penne, with, uh, this is old recipes, Maria Rosa, my, great, uh, my grandmother gave it to me, with the peeled tomato, uh, onions, saute onions, peeled tomato, ham, Tuscan ham, right? And uh, peas and basil. And a touch of cream, cream, normally heavy cream, to make it more sweeter and more uh, uh, delicate, more, uh, how do you say, thicker. So let me first cut uh, the 
the bread. And I put it. Okay. You can use a toaster, of course, or a broilet. Here I use it, this uh, nice thing. So you toast your bread in l low flame, otherwise it burns. Yes, of course. And then here I'm going to make my... Have a look. Eh? Okay, um, our cuisine, I'm gonna, I will never be tired to repeat, is based in extra virgin olive oil. This is the king. This is enhances everything. And it's very healthy. It's not butter, it's not fat. Low, no fat, very low acidity. We're always generous with the olive oil. You don't have to be worried with the olive oil. Then you get your... Always be careful of the bread. Any question of Tuscany? Any question you'd like to, to, to know something more? There's no label on the olive oil bottle. No, because you know why? I brought it, I brought it uh, a month ago. I, 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 ship, I ship it from Tuscany, my olive oil. No label, no, co no commercial. <laughs> I ship it here to my friend Brian and, uh, because I want to uh, use only the, the good olive oil. Yes. I don't go to the supermarket to buy olive oil. It's, I think, 20 years I don't go to the supermarket to, go buy, to buy olive oil. <laughs> yes, please. Bonji Bonji? Ah, Poggi Bonzi, of course. Poggi Bonzi, Poggi Bonzi is, uh, is, let's say, 50 miles away from where we are. We go, in our trip, we go to Siena for sure, because Siena is the republic, the first republic of Tuscany, built in the 1113, is the brick, is the brick uh, uh, city, no? I saw here uh, in Buffalo a lot of brick, and that is red of Siena. They are the invent, in uh, 900 years ago, they invented this size uh, of the brick, because you, you have to know Siena all around, uh, the hills of Siena is full of clay. And clay, and cook, and cook the clay, we make the, the brick. And it's still around. So Siena definitely is uh, well, the, the most important town, uh, city around there. Let's say town, because it's not even, no even 50,000 people. So you, you saute the garlic, not burn, slowly, how do you say, uh, gentle saute. Can we say that? What is it? The ham, your toaster, man. It's the, the bread. No, it's, um, if you don't have an oven, if you cannot use the oven, use this with a flame. So you clean. Uh, you clean your peppers, okay, from the green part and from the seed. You make sure that the hard part, uh, take it away, okay. Then uh, you cut it uh, like julienne, we call it, eh? or slices. Because thin, because you have to, so it cooks before, quickly, okay. Okay, well that. You put in your sauté. I'll do it for four here. Eh? What I'm, the major one, I do it for four people, no more. No, in the sense, uh, just to, if you look at, if you look at the, what I'm doing, uh, so the measurement is for four. We get some... Uh, some green pepper, okay, just to give some color. You can use yellow pepper only, or uh, green pepper, or uh, red pepper. It doesn't have to be mixed, okay? Just because I like the colors.
Et voilà. Va bene. So in the meantime, the, the, bo uh, the water is boiling. Ah, one thing I, I want to say. This, we're going to let it get soft, okay, get soft. If it needs, add the, always, this is Toscan style. Before you get burns, uh, you add uh, water, that it's not, come si dice, natural, natural. It doesn't change any type of taste, uh, and it, but it helps to not burn uh, the, the veggie. Uh, eh? You can put a whole high flame and you add water. And it, it's so not a lot, just a drop every time, drop every time. You see salt, so the, it gets uh, tasty, and the, and the water of the, of the peppers release. Uh -huh. In the meantime, uh, I want to explain this. Pasta for us. Pasta for us. Okay, this is done. Have to be a little like that, yes. Okay. That is it. Okay, a little crunchy, perfecto. A little crunchy. And we put it on the side. Okay, this goes here. The pasta, for us. A lot of people ask me, ah, don't you put uh, olive oil eh, here? No, the secret. Uh, our cuisine is very simple, but it needs, uh, of course, you have uh, to, you know, to follow some secrets. Secret, you, you, for a small amount of pasta, you need a lot of water. That's the secret. You need, the, the, we say the pasta has to swim in the, in the water. So it doesn't get sticky. This is the fest. So like a, a gallon of water for, uh, for uh, a pound of pasta. Okay? This is fest. Then it's very important to put sea salt. Generous. You never, in, in that, no, it's not going to be salty. Don't worry. If there is a lot of water, it's not going to be salty. And this gives a lot of flavor to the pasta. Because if you don't put salt, you can make the best uh, sauce you want, but it always tastes like uh, something that is wrong. Like, hmm, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, this is a, it's, a, it's a good secret. Okay, for example, here we put the... And in the meantime, this takes about 10 minutes, okay? And we're gonna whip it, eh? blend it, and make a cream, okay? So we, take, we get rid of our uh, garlic, but, but the garlic already get the taste. And then we whip it, everything's like a cream, and we put on top of our crostini with the oregano. Drop of olive oil and serve, hot, warm. Simple recipe, this is a type thing, you can do that with zucchini. You can do that with uh, eggplant. Okay, now it's time to... No, this is it. Is this one? Yes. So, I repeat this. Two glows or three glows of garlic, two tastes. A little crush, okay, with... The, Crush, not chop it. Saute, light saute, sweet peppers. Cook until it's soft. Salt, whip it. Uh, in the meantime, you toast your bread, the unsalty bread or whatever you like better, okay? And put it on top with the, uh, dry oregano and a line of olive oil. This is the first recipe. Crostini, and that you can use it for, as I said, I repeat, many other veggie. That's the, the system. Okay, now we make the, I make the sauce, Maria, Ro, uh, um, Maria Rosa sauce, okay? And it's, put it down the flame. Because I have to chop onions. Onions, uh, as you know, gives a lot of flavor. It's a se another secret uh, for, the, for the, the sauces and for the soup. Always wine onions give uh, much more flavor on the sauce. So we don't need a lot. For four people, half an onions, uh, if it's big or, or a, a little onions, uh, if it's small, okay? Uh, I like oil, oil, this kind of oil, yellow onion or white onions, not red onions because red onions is too strong.
sorry? Yeah, I dice it. I, I, I definitely dice it. Yes, of course. So. Ah, no, 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 no. Got all. Entire. All. Because I want to give the taste. Some recipes, look at that. Look. Okay. Look at the, this. And then when it's cooked, the garlic, you can throw it away. But in other recipes, like uh, uh, in other recipes, you, you chop it mm -hmm. because you want to eat it. Not in that. Because here we're going to uh, blend it. So we put some onions. Okay. And we start to saute the onions. Well saute for five minutes. Yeah, I know, I know. It's going to be, after, you're going to enjoy it too. Salute. Salute. Et voila. It's never, we cook a lot with the wine, red wine and uh, white wine for a lot of recipes. When you do the sauté, it's good to put some, uh, for the acidity, to keep high the nice acidity, okay? So, let me touch this. Mm. Really ready. I forgot, sorry. In the recipes of the, of, the, of the peppers, you need some chili. Of course, if you hate chili, don't put it. But in Tuscan, uh, Tuscan uh, uh, cuisine, we always put some uh, chili for, uh, not always, uh, many, many recipes to enhance, to make uh, the kick, okay? In a soup, uh, in the tomato sauce. Allora, here the onions is going. Uh, like, uh, as I said, half big uh, or uh, sm one small for four person, okay? Just the onions give this nice flavor. You know when you go in a, cuisine, in a, in a kitchen and you have this beautiful, it's always onions or garlic, yeah? Uh, and yeah, everybody gets excited, what are you cooking? I just sorted the onions. Mm -hmm. So we have our, and then we get our, I don't know, this is not enough. So let me see. Oops. Have to be high flame eh? the, for the um, peppers. You know what? In the meantime, I cook some more bread. You never know. Maybe people likes it and they want it, right? Here we go. Okay, a little water again, because the longer you cook the onions, better it comes the sauce. Mm -hmm. I have to check. Okay, one, two, and four. Peel tomato from Sicily, or from Naples, peeled tomato. In summer, it doesn't mean that uh, always fresh tomato. No, it's not true. In many, in many tomato sauce, we use in Italy peeled tomato. Then, uh, plant tomato. Plant tomato, peeled, yes, exactly. It's San Marzano. San Marzano is called, from uh, south of Italy. And voila. Then uh, it's important that. Uh, ecco. Let me see. You might ask, this is hard, eh? Andiamo, andiamo, bello. 
okay, this is important that you break it, you have a fork and you break and you make your tomato juice, tomato sauce. Can you see it on TV? Okay. No, 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 no. Beautiful music from Roma. Va bene. Qui we can. To make it quicker, of course, you can use a cover, right? So, you, you, yeah, so it makes it quicker. The vapore, the vapore cooks quicker. Okay, now it's time to throw the garlic away before it gets burned. You know, garlic is beautiful, but when it burns, it ruins everything. Happen, isn't it? Okay, this is again done. One, two, three, four. Uh, this is a, oh my god, I got uh, the wrong one. This is uh, a friend of mine, I think. Yeah. It's a, a little secret. You have to be careful with the flame. But otherwise we use, you know, everybody has an oven. You use the broil, you broil. You broil, be careful, two sides, don't, don't too much. We don't want to extremely hard. Medium, medium, everything uh, is uh, okay. Allora, eccolo qua. This, uh, the, the sauce is going to take about 15 minutes to cook. 15 minutes, so saute the onions very well, put the, the, the peeled tomato, crush it, be careful. So be sure that it's all uh, crushed. Add uh, Add salt and pepper, black pepper. That's another thing we use a lot in Tuscany. Always taste before, you know, before serve, always taste. You don't, don't ever tr uh, trust uh, your, the measurement, the recipes. You have to taste. Salt and black pepper. Mm, it smells beautiful. It smells like home. Let me say. It's true. Some uh, basil, and then we're going to put on top, at the end, on top of our plate, some basil. The basil have to be cut by the ha hands, never with the stainless steel, because it gets uh, oxidation, oxidize, and it gets dark, and it gets very bitter. It's not. First, it's not very nice to look at that because it gets all this black thing, and also it gets bitter. So when you use when you use ba uh, basil, be sh you you do it with your hand, with your finger. This is very good basil. Been shopping today. You have a beautiful veggie here. Very. Voilà. Now we. Yes. After about uh, ten minutes, that the the tomato it's cooking. We add. Uh, this my pea. Oh, okay. We add our pea. Okay, fresh, uh, sweet little pea that you can buy it fresh, boil it, or you can buy it in a can and uh, get rid of the water. Okay, of course it's better that you buy fresh and you, and you boil it by yourself. Just uh, to taste. This. Okay. Now it's time to whip everything. Mm. 
Vedete che non va bene. Non cambia molto bene. No, it's not okay. Ready. We're gonna add more water. The peppers are hard. Doesn't matter. It's gonna be ready at the same time, everything. That's better. You see what happens if this, uh, the, the pepper is not very well cooked? It's gonna break it. It's gonna, it's gonna be and break it all over. But that's not a big deal. You keep adding water until it's very soft and it comes a nice cream. Okay, it's time to. When you do it, you do everything at once. Okay, we do it like that for the. You know, that's for one person. Two. Normally in Italy we say we serve 80 grams, I don't know how much, 80 grams each portion. 80 for one, one, for one person. Or pasta. Perfect. softer mm -hmm. now it's time to taste uh, if it's salty and uh, spicy enough un pochino di sale ok Forte questa. Eh. Ham. This is a Tuscan ham and I found it today. It's not smoked, not smoked ham. We call it uh, cooked ham, prosciutto cotto. You see, it's important that, that uh, you ask it to your to butcher, butcher to make it thicker, like an inch or half a inch. I don't know. What do you think? Is a half an inch, please? Eh? A quarter of an inch. Perfetto. Like to make a little cubes, eh? square, but not so too, too big. Otherwise, you feel only that in the recipes. So you go like that, and you go. It's getting close, getting close. Eddie, if you have a lot of water, it doesn't matter if you forget, oh, I didn't stir the pasta. Ecco, you have a lot of water, no, it's going to be not, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. This is one, it's very important. Then the little pieces like that. This is uh, you can use in the, in the winter. This is a classic winter pasta, kind of, eh? kind of a putto. Here in summer we use more fresh tomato, lots of basil. Uh, uh, Veggie, like zucchini, now we are in season of zucchini or cucumbers, right? Even here? Mm. We use uh, the pesto in the summer, pesto, yeah. with basil, pinoli, and uh, lots of olive oil, parmesan cheese.
another piece and that is it. Nice to put the fat on. Ecco, et voilà. Uh, can I say that? Where, 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 yes, there, there. Yeah, I think uh, they told me it's a local uh, chain of uh, local chain of fruit of uh, ve uh, product, right? It's not from China, right? No, no. no. Oh, I got it. I got it right. I got it right. So now it should be ready. Here we go. You see the water. And we go here. The pin is a hard pasta, it takes about 12 minutes to cook. Smells good? Oh, yes. It's a good sign. Simple recipe. Uh, we say in Tuscany that our uh, recipe is the should not, should not uh, uh, use more than six ingredients every time. To keep, it, uh, to keep it simple and genuine and not overput. To, to, our style is to, every time we, we, want, we eat, we want to feel this different type of ingredients. If you put too much stuff, especially, especially cheese, uh, that cover everything, and I see around the world a lot of people is crazy for cheese, <laughs> you, 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 you don't dis distinguish, you don't distinguish anything. It's just a mix of uh, something. You know? uh, the peas, uh, let's say, uh, a thing like that, okay? Ja just a little, for four person. Okay, here we go again. Much better. And this thing. Ready? Somebody, they give me this. In Italy, we don't have this. I don't get it. So what's the point to have this? It gets out. Anyway, we do what we have to do, right? Anyway. I have my apron, so, so it's not a big deal. Ready, fam. So, don't hear you? Uh, the pens? Ah, yes, of course, yes, yes, it is. We use uh, the best pens is stainless steel. St stainless steel are the best, or or copper. But that is very, very expensive. The French use a lot of that copper. But we use stainless steel. No, exactly. Until it's a cream, okay? I'm sure at home you do it better. I, I know the blender is going to be a problem. Uh, uh, I couldn't bring my blender from home. Huh? Okay. So, now, we add the... Voilà. Okay, and oregano. Very nice. We love oregano. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Ora. I, ta I taste uh, mm, gonna love it. Okay, at the really end, the cream. Not too much, not too cover. 
Okay? We do first like that. We blend. And it makes nice rose. But that's why Maria Rosa. Maria is the, the, the great grandmother. Rose because it's a rose. Comes, right? It, red and white makes rose. Two tablespoons. Tablespoon. Maximum, eh? Don't max. If you, you can do also one tablespoon. That is a uh, cook, uh, heavy cream for cook cuisine, not for, uh, for sweet, not for dessert. Okay? See? Mm. You see the color? Yeah. Bonissimo. We, we do, we do, what is that? We do, again. It's a little too sweet for us, but it's going in the right direction. Okay, it's time to serve the corostini. This Nice lady. What's your name? Nina. Nina? Nice. Claudia. Claudia. Mm -hmm. Uno, due, tre, e quattro. Guarda, what we love is the, is the olive oil green here. Make this beautiful sauce. Siamo romani. Have you ever been in Rome? I lived there five years in Rome to study my high school. It's a beautiful city. Now it's a little too much uh, cars, too many cars for us that we live in the country. I'm a country boy. Maybe you don't understand. <laughs> you, you, you realize that. E voilà. Prego, signore. Corostino, this is a typical starter of Tuscany. Now we have to be careful of our pasta. I can see it's not ready by the eyes. Okay, in the meantime, in the meantime, we get, uh, we grain our parmigiano reggiano. It's a, it's a type of food that you can eat also with your, it's like a finger food, eh? Okay? Yes, you go like, um. You don't have to be so polite. It's a finger food, you know? Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. See, easier. You like that to make it more interesting. Eh? After the chef, I always uh, clean hands. The, the cheese is going with the pasta. Ah, see, see, because if it's not, we don't like uh, puffy. Puffy, no, no, no. You have to go be, how do you say, the opposite of puffy? Flat. Eccolo qua, flat. Okay, it is the pasta. After 25 years uh, of eating pasta, I could uh, know about uh, without uh, tasting the pasta. When it's ready, when it's al dente. Ah, of course. Don't even say pasta al, al dente. Ecco, bravi. 
You see here? When you get this? The little white part? And it's when al, al dente. So another minute max. So we need a. Hmm. Ah, we need a bowl, a bowl, a bowl. Um, let's see, let's see. Oh, I can do it here, but it's too much sauce. Thank you very much, but this is a little. Sh a little bigger. Not oh, bad. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I can, uh, I can do with that too. Because uh, the pasta, you have to always before serve. You have to st 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 stirring, stirring. Yes, with the Parmesan cheese. You don't have to just put the, the the sauce on top and that's it. Because you have to get the sauce. Have to get everywhere. Okay, all in the entire dish. So you know what? We go like that. That it makes sense. This is too much sauce. Okay. See? No, parmigiano, parmigiano, pecorino is too salty. Pecorino is for other recipes. For with the tomato, it's very good parmigiano. Okay, you see what I'm doing? Wow! It's better to do like that. Pasta is ready. Make sure that you drain it very well. Another thing we hate, uh, we, everybody, the Italian hate when they go abroad is to have the pasta with the water in the plate. Uh. Uh, you right? Okay, make it dry. Make it dry, okay? And this is uh, it's called maltegazione, maltegare. You go like that. Uh, uh, to taste, if you, it's important, not is uh, exactly the same, uh, like uh, a full hand. But uh, some people, but in Italy too, uh, they love so much pecorino cheese that uh, they cover everything. You know, you make it a nice, uh, uh, gentle sauce, and then you make a kilo or a pound of, uh, of pecorino. And it's all the same story, you know. Make sense? What a bello. Mmm, creamy, creamy, creamy. Guess what? Olive oil. Alright, I have to be quick now, quick, 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 quick. Su, 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 su. Not this one. Yeah, what I'm looking for, this. Okay. Once, uh, like, for example, a very typical thing when you do maltegazione, this uh, system, if you make very al dente the pasta and then you finish to cook in the pan. Okay? Like a couple of minutes. And you get it. So the sauce gets everywhere and it gets really, really intense. Okay? And then you go. You serve the pasta. One, just a little bit more, così. Oh, sorry, give it to me. Thank you. Simplicity. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I put it, uh, the cheese on top. Peperoncino, if you want to spice it more, yes. In this recipe is black pepper. This recipe is black pepper. But uh, 
I mean, if you put peperoncino, you certainly don't ruin uh, the re recipes. If you like spicy, use it. Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, in the, every, every region have uh, their own uh, cheeses. We use pecorino. Uh, Parmesan is uh, very national. Everybody discover the, the taste of Parmesan cheese. Prego, signora. Enjoy. And uh, in Toscany we have pecorino. In Roma we have pecorino romano. In the, in the north of Italy we have this uh, uh, blue cheese, uh, gorgonzola, or we have this creamy cheese. So, but for the pasta, 90% of the time you use Parmesan cheese. Because it's a type of cheese that goes well with the tomato, goes well with the, with the veggie, goes well with a lot of ingredients. And don't cover, you know what I mean? Don't, uh, it's not over, overpower. Delicious. Come here. I have to taste too, eh? I put it here. Eccolo. Ready? Uh, we, on season, uh, like, uh, ma mm, it's called uh, porcini mushroom or uh, some of portobello, similar to portobello. Start uh, in August because the mushroom, uh, uh, we don't, uh, we dis we don't um, raise them. It's wild, especially porcini. It needs uh, the heat and the water. So at the end of the summer, it comes this uh, summer storm. It wet uh, all, the, all the woods. Okay, and then it comes the heat, the humidity, and in, in a couple of days, boom, 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 all the porcini. The difficult part uh, is to find the porcini, <laughs> because the people wake up 5 o'clock in the morning to go. When I wake up at uh, 9 o'clock, it's already gone, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I, I go to, the, I go to the, my, my guy, and I said, okay, send me porcini, please. <laughs> and I pay. <laughs> Buon appetito. Hmm. Yes, I have to say so, yeah. <laughs> I hope you come in Tuscany to visit me. Oh, oh. Oh. Romeo, grazie, grazie. That was fantastic. Thank you. Oh, 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 Sorry, uh, a little nervous. My Not first at time. all. No, you did a fantastic job. Thank you so much. So fantastic. I go away with my pasta. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Romeo, thank you. He's not going to go too far. He will still be here. You See, can chat with Romeo. I'll give him a minute or two to have some, uh, a little bit of food, some pasta, of course. And I was just told that we will be posting all of the recipes that Romeo did today on the WNED website. And you can find them there by the end of the week. So if you'd like to try them out yourselves, just check WNED.org by the end of the week and they will all be there. Now, <laughs> So we still have some food left. There's a station back here. Uh, there's food there. And also, I believe, at that table there, we still have some vino. Uh, I want to remind you, if you didn't fill out the form uh, for our door prize of the beautiful luggage from the AAA, there are still our folks uh, at the back table there straight ahead. If you have any questions about the trip, they can answer that as well. And so you're still free to mingle. And in about 10 minutes or so, we will be doing the drawing for, for the luggage. So thank you for coming. And again, hope you had a wonderful time. Grazie.